Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Subreports let you view the data from one main report with related data from a separate but related report as an embedded subreport within the main report. This lets you view related information from two reports at once. It can also make the relationship between data and two related reports seem more clear. Subreports are often used to show summary data from one main report with detailed data from a related subreport. When you create subreports, you may want to begin by creating two separate reports first. However, this is not required. You can create a subreport within a report from almost any type of database object you've already created, including tables, forms, and queries. To create a subreport, open the main report into which you want to insert the subform or subreport control in Design View. Ensure you have the related subreport you want to insert into the main report already created if needed. Also ensure that the Use Control Wizards button is activated within the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Note that this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the list of controls shown in this button group. Next, click the Subform Subreport Control in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the main report where you want to insert the subreport. Access will automatically launch the subreport wizard to assist you in placing and connecting the two reports. In the first screen of the subreport wizard, select which object in your database contains the data you want to use in the subreport. You can either select Use Existing Tables or Queries, or Use an Existing Report or Form. If you select the latter option, you must select which report or form to insert from the list shown below. Click the Next button when you're ready to continue. If you selected to use existing tables and queries in the last step, then the next screen will present you with a drop-down list of the tables and queries in the database from which you can select. For whichever table or query you select, choose which fields to display in the report by clicking their names in the Available Fields list and then clicking the right pointing arrow button to move them into the Selected Fields list. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, select how the data in the main report is linked to the data in the subreport. If you select the Choose from a List option button, then you must select one of the listed possible ways from the list box shown below the option button. When you select one of the ways that you could link the data and the reports together from the list, you will see text describing that relationship below the list. This is helpful in viewing the relationship when the description of the relationship selected in the list extends beyond the edge of the box. The other option you have is to select Define My Own, which changes the section below it to show two columns of drop-down menus, Form Report Fields and Subform Subreport Fields. You can then use the drop-downs to select which field in the main report is related to which other field in the subreport. You may connect multiple fields if necessary. The text description of the link you have created will appear below the drop-down menus. When you've created the necessary links between the reports, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, you can type a name for your subreport if needed. Then just click the Finish button to complete the insertion of the subreport into the main report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.